every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. In today's episode we will create our very first traffic light, with a small expansion just to get you and me back in the game since I was away for a few months. So firstly I will do a quick run through. As a first thing we want our traffic light to be on green for 30 seconds, then 5 seconds orange and then 25 seconds red. Secondly we will uh, add a button and whenever the traffic light is set to green and the button is pressed the traffic light will uh, turn to orange and red after 5 seconds. This will be like a pedestrian button. So task A traffic light. Uh, firstly the schematic. Uh, we have to create 4 circuits, uh, 1 push button and 3 LEDs on your breadboard. In series with the LEDs we always set a resistance minimum of 220 ohm and again connect one leg of the resistor to the mass or ground of the breadboard. So firstly we will start by declaring our three LEDs. Now we will declare our pedestrian button as pin number 6. Now on to the setup. Firstly we will set our LEDs to output, like so and turn them all off as well just to be sure. Now let's set our pedestrian button to input. This is used so we can read out the state of our pedestrian button, if it's pressed or not. Now let's write down serial.begin9600. This is for the serial monitor. We mainly will use this for debugging purposes. Now onto our loop. Firstly we will turn off the red LED and then turn on the green one. This is done because our program will run in a loop, so our red LED always has to be turned off before the green one can be turned on, and also, before, and also because I prefer to write it this way. You can actually put it at the bottom, but I will not. So again we first turn off our red LED, like so, and now we turn on the green one. And now we write a serial print to make it easier to debug and we add a delay of 3000 milliseconds to re-enact re the green light for 3 seconds. Now we will do the orange, well the yellow one. So again we first turn off the green one, now we turn on the yellow one, well the orange one. After this we can again write down a serial uh, a print, a serial dot print line with orange inside it and again we add a delay of 500 milliseconds. And now we do the same for the red one, so turn off the orange LED and now turn on the red one and again and again a serial dot print to let us know that we're at the red light right now. And again we add a delay but this time of 2500 milliseconds. Uh, and now let's try and run this code. Firstly let's verify, now let's upload. And as you can see, we have a working traffic light with 3 seconds green, half a second orange, well yellow, and 2.5 and seconds red. Now on to task B, pedestrian button. Ok, so on to the pedestrian button. So what we want now is that if the traffic light is green, we want our program to listen to the press of a button. So we're going to change a small bit of our code and delete our delay of 3000 milliseconds. And we write instead of this green light, open parenthesis, close the parenthesis again, and write a semicolon. Okay, so guys, this is new. What we are doing now is calling for the function green light. And if you remember, void setup and loop from our previous videos are both functions in which we can call another function, and that's what we are doing right now. We are calling the function green light, but if you run this, you can see something will go uh, something goes wrong. So if you upload this, 
green light was not declared in this scope. This is because we haven't created the function yet. So let's do that right now. And we write inside this a delay of 3000 milliseconds. And if we run this now, you can see the exact same thing is happen. The same thing as before is still happening. Three seconds green, half second orange, and two and a half seconds red. Now, nothing much really, uh, nothing much change, but we just made it easier for us now to write code inside here. Uh, you don't actually have to create this function, but it will make it much easier to write code in this way. You'll notice this in the future as well. So now we have our green function. What we can do now, first create a for loop that counts from 1 to 31, like so. And the idea of this is to check every second if the pedestrian button has been pressed or not. And if so, we have to return the function to skip to orange and red for the pedestrian to cross the road. Now, firstly, we will have to place the state of our pedestrian button in an integer as so. Now, we check upon this state whether or not the button has been pressed or not. So, we write an if statement. So, if state is equal to zero, meaning it has not been pressed yet, we, we firstly want to print out i to know which second we are at. So we do serial.print i. And there we go. And after that and after that we can add a delay of 1 second because you know we have a for loop of 30 times. So we so every time it enters this if statement, we have to create a delay of exactly 1 second each time it runs. And now for aesthetics, we add another print to make it more appealing. Now we still have to do something when the button is pressed. So we write an else if statement. We want, firstly want to add serial print to let us know when someone is about to cross. So we write. And after this, we add a delay of, let's say, five seconds. And lastly, we have to return our function to break out the function and end this, which will continue the void loop and skip ahead to orange. Now, to finish up, can change the delay of uh, the orange LED 5000 milliseconds and the LED red LED as well to 25 seconds right now. Uh, as well, you should delete this delay and now you should be all set up. Now, let's verify our code. Okay, that's done. Now let's try and upload the code. Okay, cool. Now let's go to tools, serial monitor. And now you'll see it says green one two three so it's counting it's waiting for the pedestrian button to be to be pressed now let's hold the button and it confirms that the pedestrian is going to cross now it will turn to red uh, to orange after five seconds and again after five seconds it will turn to red there we go guys what to do now go to amazon and buy yourself some leds buttons resistors wires and waste a lot of, a lot of money or buy the original Arduino starter kit or the cheaper version, link will be in the description. There should be an affiliate link and the normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you are paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you, so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. Uh, as well, there will be a link to my Patreon page for all the files that I used today. So this will include all my code. So that link will be in the description. So that's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.